I am a huge fan of the DJI Pocket 2, and I am a huge fan of the DJI mics, which is why I can't figure out why DJI did not create these two devices to natively work together. Surely there must be a solution. Well, there is, but please don't call me Shirley. Okay, let's dig into the solution for bringing our Pocket 2 and our DJI mics into a wonderful, cozy, warm working relationship. We'll fire up the Pocket 2 just because we like to see it spin into life. We will fire up the DJI mics because we like to see them power up whenever the lid of the case is open. Let me grab one of the mics out of here. And here's some good news. Uh, yeah, there's, there's an adapter required that you'll have to purchase, but it's not very expensive. And the other key part of the adapter experience came with your DJI mics. You should all have the quarter, or I'm sorry, the eighth to eighth inch cable that came with it. Let's just set that in the front here for a quick moment, because what we're going to do now is show you the Magic Solution Adapter. This comes from Movo. Now, there are several options available on Amazon for you to get an adapter that is USB-C to eighth inch female. Um, my experience and from the other research that I've done is that you either need to buy an official DJI adapter for like $36 or you can grab this one from Movo which works wonderfully well for somewhere in the range of $16. You know, enter at your own risk. What we're going to do though is we're going to use the backside USB-C port on the do-it-all handle. Now I want you to know something, that everything I'm showing you with this do-it-all handle works equally as well if you don't have that handle on and you want to use the underneath side USB-C port on your Pocket 2. I simply have it on the do-it-all handle because I wanted to use a tripod to keep my hands free, uh, but it works the same way. So we're going to plug in the 8th inch adapter cable that you got with your mics and now we're going to plug the other end of that into the receiver where it says out. That's your line out. You are now, with that connection, running a line out of your receiver into your pocket too. And everything you can see, obviously, when I'm speaking into this transmitter from the DJI mics, it's showing up in the green. Check, check, check. You can see the, the levels being monitored, right? So that's easy. You, are, you guys already knew that. A couple things, though, that I want to point out to you. When you use the device in this way, it's not going to show an audio output on your screen here. And you're not going to be able to live monitor from the side port. Um, if you are using the mic that came with the do-it-all kit on the Pocket 2, you know, thanks to this other video that I did a while ago, you know how you can configure things to live monitor the sound. You can plug in your 8th inch headphones and you can listen to make sure you have a good sound. You cannot do that with the DJI mic connection that we're showing you here today. You can, however, use the headphone jack on the side of the receiver of the DJI mics and you can listen to make sure that you're receiving good quality audio from this standpoint. Now, I've tested this a million different times. It works wonderfully well and it will work for you as well. However, my asterisk that I always put on this sort of advice is this. Since the DJI mic transmitter comes with internal recording capabilities, do yourself a favor for peace of mind and hit the little recording button on the side once. Watch the red light come on and know that you are now recording a safety backup channel of whatever audio you're trying to capture. Because when you get out in the field with your DJI Pocket 2, the last thing you want to do is end up finishing the shoot or the interview or whatever it is and, and not having the audio that you wanted. One way to guarantee you have the audio, even if it would take a little extra post-production in the end, is to run the backup on however many uh, transmitters you're using. If you're using just one for yourself, if you're using two because you have a guest. Uh, one, one other thought on the transmitters while we're in this uh, conversation, friends. You see on the top here where it has this little port, this little eighth inch port, that's designed for you to bring in a lav mic or an external mic. Can I recommend that you do that? 
Can I recommend that you not rely on, not because it's not reliable, but it doesn't look very good, to go around and just, you know, clipping this thing on or using the magnet and hiding it inside your shirt, but you still have this big old bump on your shirt. For 10, 12 bucks, you can get a decent quality lavalier mic. I have Rode lavalier mics, which are obviously a little bit better than the, the 10 or $12 versions. Whatever the case may be, the video that I'm doing now on the mics that I'm using, that's a pretty good look, right? It would look very clunky if I were walking around with this thing hanging on my lapel. So just food for thought if you want to really improve the way that everything's looking and everything that you're working on. Um, so that is really the solution. When all of that happens, when all of that comes together, you are recording good quality audio. In fact, I'm going to record the last couple seconds of this using that setup so that all of you can see that there is a very simple solution for connecting your DJI mic to your DJI Pocket 2. And it involves one little connector, in my case from the Movo company, bought it on Amazon. And within a few seconds, you'll understand how it all comes together. That's how it sounds as well, by the way, as I'm speaking now directly through the DJI mic. Now, let me turn that off and show you one last thing. Because this is clunky. This is not how anybody wants to go around <laughs> uh, trying to capture content, right? Nobody. You would be foolish to do that. It would also eventually cause harm. These are not exactly the most durable cables in the world. So what you want to do is get a... a a tripod bracket, a holder that would take both your pocket to your phone if you wanted to attach a phone, but just as importantly, had some sort of a cold shoe mount where you could put the receiver. Well, lo and behold, we have that here. And I've put a link to this particular model in the notes because I just bought it off of Amazon and it is fantastic. It's got a pretty firm grip on the Pocket 2. It's got the cold shoe mount up here. And so now if you wanted to have it facing you as a selfie, you'd be able to monitor your levels here. If you were shooting somebody else who was, uh, you know, the guest in your shot or in your video, then you just put it on this way. And now you've got the ability from the backside to keep an eye on your levels all the way through. So there's your solution, the adapter from Movo, a bracket phone holder, and if your phone goes in this side, this expands to fit whatever size phone you have, and now you've got a cold shoe mount to put the receiver on, and you can keep good track of how everything sounds. You can also see if you're using a phone how everything looks, and in the end, whether you're using the do-it-all handle or just the pocket to itself, you've got access to a USB-C port on the back and on the bottom. All right, I think that makes sense out of it. Thank you for checking out Bill's Tech Tips. Please subscribe, and if this helps you at all, maybe send a dollar or two to us via PayPal. Thanks much. See you later.